Okay, so here at C Street and right now I'm in this parking lot and as of 2023 right now this parking lot is one of the best options for beach access because this parking lot is completely free and it's right next to uh, this walkway on PCH and the ocean is right on the other side of this gate right here oceans right here so yeah you can park right in this lot for free um, if you're lucky because this lot is always full from uh, mostly surfers so if you're a surfer this is the parking lot that you try to get because you don't have to carry your board super far you have to carry it like you know 50 feet or whatever and uh, yeah, this parking lot is almost always full during the daytime. You have to, there's usually a line of cars in this circle that are all waiting to get a spot. Uh, but it's nighttime right now, so it's pretty empty. And uh, you're not allowed to leave your car here overnight, uh, only daytime parking. And this is parking right next to some apartments. These are like uh, condos or apartments. Um, and uh, yeah, there's also a hotel right on the other side of this. Uh, and they do not allow you to park there unless you're with the hotel. So this parking lot is pretty primo. And then, so let's go to the next best option. Uh, if this parking lot's not available, let's see what else you can do. Okay, so we made it to the northernmost parking lot. And this one is a pay parking lot. Closes after 8 p.m. Still open right now. Um, but yeah. And this parking lot. Oh yeah, we got the prices right here. $2 for the day. Overnight, no overnight is allowed, and they actually offer it like a year. You can buy a year-long pass um, for this parking lot. I think it's like for something like a hundred bucks. So two dollars every day. If you came here, you know, three hundred days out of the year, that'd be six hundred bucks. Or you could buy the year-long parking pass. It's a hundred dollars. Gives you access to all of this so if you live in ventura and you or live nearby and drive your car to come surf every day maybe that would be a sweet deal for you um but yeah this parking lot never used to be actually i'm pretty sure this one was always the paid one but i will double check uh this is the northernmost parking lot i i think this one uh, always has been a paid for uh parking lot um, unlike the next parking lot that we're about to go to, uh, which used to be free, but is now recently paid. Um, so let's, let's jump to that one. But yeah, this parking lot that I'm at right now is cool. Has a, usually it's very full, but it has all the way over there has dirt, dirt lot too. So it's like, even if this one's super full, there's always, you're going to find some spaces because, because of that dirt lot out there. And uh, if you're trying to go surf way out there north, uh, far that way, usually the stuff that's closer in can get real crowded or there's no waves. Sometimes the waves are way down there. So you want to park way down there and it's nicer. So yeah, let's go look at the final uh, parking lot that's at C Street. Okay, at the last parking lot. This one's real close to the water. Water's right there. Here is the pay machine. All sorts of ways to pay. And it doesn't say the, doesn't say the price on here, but it's, it's, it's by the hour. I think it's like 50, 50 cents per like 15 minutes or something like that. 
So if you stay here for like an hour, that's gonna be like $4, $4 per hour. Um, so if you stay here all day, that's what? Eight hours, $4 per hour, that's gonna be 30 bucks. So I guess it's not bad, but compared to the other one, it's only $2 and it lasts all day. So the Northern West parking lot is way better. And this parking lot is really tiny. This is the whole thing. Just, I could pan it all like this. Um, really small. You will get a fat ticket very quickly if you park in this lot with no thing because the ticket guy just patrols it all nonstop. Um, and of course, there's no overnight in this parking lot. Um, so yeah, this one is kind of like a, I'd say this is the worst option <laughs> for parking. Um, and this parking lot used to be completely free, um, like a while ago. Um, as of 2023, it is not free and that pissed everyone off. I remember talking with a bunch of like local people right after it happened. Everyone was all up in this parking lot talking about the parking, but it's okay. Um, I don't know, but yeah, whether you, it's like a good thing or a bad thing is beside the point right now. Um, that's just how it works. This parking lot is paid and yeah, it's real small. Used to be totally free though, um, which is interesting that they chose to make this one uh, paid. My guess is that it was because there was a lot of people that would use this one almost as like a permanent residence. Um, so they were trying to do something about that, but I'm sure those people were very not happy to hear that this parking lot was paid. But this one is pretty primo location, uh, right where you wanna be, right next to the pier, right against the water. So, yep, that is the uh, third and final parking lot on C Street. There's a fair fairgrounds right here, so. Yeah, there we go.